Hello again, my name is Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. With you again, this time around, I'm going to speak with you on the topic, Why stay we here till we die? Why stay we here till we die? This statement was made by four leprous men in the land of Israel when there was famine, and people were dying of famine. It was a period in time in the history of the Israelites when people began to buy the, the uh, and to eat those dung, and uh, things were so expensive. People were killing their children for food. They were eating their children because of lack of food in the in the in the in their nation. Now this time, these four leprous men. Let me just read you the story. It's found in the book of Second Kings, chapter seven. From verse 3 to 9 and I'm, I'm going to read if you have your Bible you can open with me and follow the trend from verse 3 I read 2nd Kings chapter 7 verse 3 to 9 and there were four leprous men at the entry in of the gates and they said one to another why sit we here till we die if we say we will enter into the city then famine is in the city and we shall die there and if we sit here we will die also now therefore come let us fall into the host of the Syrians if they save us alive we shall live and if they, shall, if they kill us then we shall die and they rose up and in the twin light to go into the camp of the Syrians and when they were come to the utmost part of the camp of Syria behold there was no man there for the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of great hosts. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel, at, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Etatites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twin light and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. Now verse 8. And when the lepers came to the utmost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink, and carried their silver and gold, and raiment and went and hid it, and came again and entered into another tent and carried them also and went and hid it. Then said they one to another, We do not well. This day is the day of good tidings. We hold and we hold our peace. If we tarry till morning, some mischief will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, that we may go and tell the king's household. This is the story of four leprous men that were living in abject poverty. They were living in loneliness. And yet they came together and said, look, let's do something about our situation. And that is exactly what I am talking to you about this morning, so that you can come to yourself and begin to do something about your situation. The first thing you have to know is that you need to move forward. To stay where you to, to stay where you are and expecting God to do something for you out of the blue is to die in abject poverty. You cannot stay where you are and expect something. You have to do something. The success is for you, but you have to go for it. If you don't if you do not go for success success will not look for you you know in science i remember when i was in secondary school we said that every object will remain in the state of where it is except an external force acts on it except an external force act on it so if this computer through which you are listening to me if you put it here and you do not remove it and no force acts on it, that computer will be there forever. You will not move forward if you do not. If you do not move, nothing will move you. You are the one that is responsible. Now, how do you move forward? What are the ingredients of moving forward? Number one, quality decision. You have to decide. You have to decide. God bless you. You have to decide. Decision is your power to change your destiny. Decision is your power to move from poverty to prosperity. 
decision is your power that can change your situation from from sickness to health decisions the decisions you make every day go a long way to change your position in life decisions are so important the choices you make they move you forward don't they? if the four leprous men did not decide look we are tired of this situation let's move forward because if we stay here we're going to die if we move forward we may live we may die but if we move backward definitely at the back the people of Israel are in abject poverty because there is lack. So we cannot move backward because we know what is there. We cannot remain here because here it is not well. But if we move forward, there's a chance that we can live, though there is also the chance that we can die. But you see, the chance that we can live is in the fall. It is there. So let's move forward. Let's go and explore. Let's go and see new things. Let's go and base our lives. On something good something better let's go and try something greater and they did and they made it time will not permit me I'm going to come back to you in the part two I'm going to speak to you more ingredients of moving forward the Lord will bless you once again Sunday Joseph I didn't guys my name you can support this course by donating to this ministry you can write your check to Sunday Joseph I and send to me my address is in the channel of this website. God bless you as you come, as you send your donation. You can email me at g successdimensionchurch at gmail.com. You can also visit my website at motivationfortoday.com. For, as in figure four, motivationfortoday.com. God bless you. I love you. It is well with your soul. Thanks for listening. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.